Henry Fonda was a Golden Age idol known for his oftentimes heroic appearance on the big screen, but the actor was no hero in real life. On the contrary, he was a tragic figure in his own story, and those closest to him suffered as a result. Join Facts First as we explore how Henry Fonda was no hero after all, he had dark secrets. Henry Fonda had a sheltered upbringing. Henry Fonda was born in 1905 to a family of Christian scientists. Henry was an incredibly shy child, though he grew up to be quite the physical specimen. Girls gave him plenty of attention, but he didn't know how to reciprocate it. His sheltered upbringing wasn't the only thing working against the future star upon coming of age. He had also witnessed a lynching as a child that left him scarred for life. Despite all that Henry accomplished on the screen, he was always a scared child in his personal life. Still, the quality of Henry Fonda's work on the big screen can't be denied. As he grew into a teenager, he practiced sports and spent his spare time working with his father. But he found a different passion after entering into college. At University of Minnesota, he got the acting bug. He began performing in productions on stage at the Omaha Community Playhouse. Though Henry had no previous experience in acting, he took to it fast. He was a natural, and it wasn't long before he was on to bigger and better things. Henry enjoyed performing on stage. After performing in productions at the Omaha Community Playhouse, Henry joined a theater group called University Players. It was here he met the woman who became the first of his five wives. That woman was Margaret Sullivan. They tied the knot while working together at the theater troupe, though their marriage only lasted a short time. At the time of their marriage in 1931, Henry was 26 and Margaret was only a few years his junior. Both burgeoning stars would go on to become big deals in Hollywood. They divorced in 1933, though they had actually separated a few months after the wedding. This was the first of several failed marriages Henry would suffer over the course of his life. Henry and Margaret didn't get along well. Henry was bottled up after his traumatic upbringing, and Margaret had a hot temper. Their contradictory personalities clashed, with the emotional Margaret not taking to her new husband's ice-cold demeanor. Though Henry tried to keep his emotions bottled up, there were times when Margaret managed to get him to give up this guise. Henry and Margaret were said to have had massive arguments that gave any other Hollywood couple at the time a run for its money. Henry became a star after his first divorce. It wasn't long after divorcing his first wife that Henry Fonda started making waves in the entertainment industry. Around that same time, he befriended James Stewart. In 1935, they moved together from New York to Hollywood, where they both became stars on the big screen. With James by his side, Henry had no problem getting in with the ladies. However, the star had more than sleeping around on his mind. He wanted to get married again, though his second marriage would be even less successful than his first. He married for a second time in 1936. This time, Henry was a little more invested, but this investment didn't pay off. His second wife was a woman named Frances Ford Seymour Brokaw. Though Frances wasn't a celebrity in the same sense as Henry, she was a notable socialite. Frances was also a widow, with her husband having recently passed away at the time she met Henry. Though Henry's marriage to his second wife lasted for over a decade, it wasn't a successful one. Those years were fraught with dark times, and the marriage had consequences that haunted Henry well after the divorce. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Henry's second marriage was disastrous. Henry got on his new wife's bad side by being emotionally distant. Frances was in need of support as she was still dealing with the emotional trauma of losing her husband. The two tried to force their marriage to work, and one of their ways of doing so was to introduce children into the equation. They had two children while they were married, and those two became stars in their own right. The first was Jane Fonda, who's still around today at age 84. The second was Peter Fonda, who passed away in 2019. The year of Peter's birth marked the year Henry reached the peak of his career success. That was the year he appeared in The Grapes of Wrath. He earned an Academy Award nomination for his role in the film. But things took a dark turn in his life when World War II came around in the ensuing decade. Although Henry had a family to take care of back home, he insisted on serving during the war. When he returned, things only got worse domestically. Both Jane and Peter accused their father of being emotionally abusive during this time, though it was arguably the star's wife who got it the worst. Nonetheless, Frances Ford Seymour Brokaw wasn't completely innocent. She suffered from bipolar disorder. Henry married his mistress after his wife's tragic end. 
Towards the end of his second marriage, Henry began cheating on his wife with a woman named Susan Blanchard. Susan would go on to become Henry's third wife, though this transition certainly didn't go off without a hitch. When Henry announced to his second wife he wanted a divorce, she had herself committed to an insane asylum. During her stay, she committed suicide. It was said she left personalized notes to everyone close to her except Henry. Henry didn't want to tell his two kids that their mother had committed suicide, so he lied to them by telling them she had died of a heart problem. He also prevented the children from attending their mother's funeral. Both Jane and Peter would go on to figure out the truth about their mother's death, with Jane having shared she found out about her mother's suicide while reading a gossip magazine at her school. Henry wasted no time in marrying third wife Susan Blanchard. The two married in 1950, the same year of Francis's suicide. To seal the deal on the marriage, Henry and Susan adopted a daughter named Amy, but this didn't help their chemistry. They divorced in 1956. But Susan went on to claim Henry was abusive to her during the marriage. It seems Henry expected too much of his wife and she couldn't keep up with his housekeeping demands. Did Henry ever find happiness? Around the same time he divorced from his third wife, Henry got into a fight with his longtime friend John Ford. The legendary filmmaker was directing Henry in a picture called Mr. Roberts. The old friends got into a fight during filming that their friendship never recovered from. Henry Fonda went on to marry two more times, with his fourth wife being a baroness named Alfdera Franchetti. True to form, the marriage lasted a handful of years. His fifth and final wife was a woman named Shirley May Adams, and they remained married until Henry's 1982 passing. He passed away shortly after making a feature with daughter Jane Fonda that commented on their estranged relationship. That film received awards recognition, but Henry was too sick to attend that year's Academy Awards ceremony. He passed away shortly after. Now it's time to hear from you. What was the most surprising part of this story to you? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Faxverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.